Right, morning all. Well, just about morning anyway. Uh, originally I was going to go somewhere else today but um, I went to the uh, petrol station and I thought, you know what, I can't be bothered to go up there so we'll leave that one for another day. Um, so today we're off to uh, Bowling Bridge. No it's not, sorry I made that mistake. Dunsop Bridge. What a numpty, never mind. Yeah. Dunsop Bridge. Uh, and you, you won't be able to see it, the road up there is where we're going. And we have, um, it's the same road that we take to Jubilee Tower. Um, when we did that a few months ago. Uh, but I thought we'd go all the way to Dunsop Bridge today, so. Although the video won't portray it, this is quite steep. Go down this valley and then up the other one. Uh, you join us on an absolutely lovely day, but uh, it is rather windy. And the wind is actually quite chilly. Uh, but it's set to warm up in a bit. Uh, first thing I want to say is, uh, Aussie Biker Dude, thanks very much for that sticker. I've been meaning to say it and uh, keep forgetting. So, uh, yours is the first, other than mine, yours is the first sticker on the board. I'll put a picture up here somewhere. So, thank you very much, Aussie. Much appreciated. Um, what else? Yeah, uh, I was watching. Uh, one of the late, I think the latest Bingley Wheeler video, Dave, and he was mentioning about uh, our Uncle Stu, Stuart Fillingham, um, and the fight against being dictated to essentially, and uh, having the wool taken over, pulled, pulled over her eyes regarding these e electric vehicles. I'm not going to dwell on it, but I will say. Uh, I'll put the links in the description at the bottom um, to uh, uh, today and to Stuart Fillingham and also to uh, another guy that Jeff sells cars or something like that. So anyway, I'll put a link down there because they can tell you all about it better than I can. Uh, another very quick mention. The hell here. Getting a bit carried away here. Um, very quick mention to Rachel. Um, thinking of you. It's the uh, anniversary of her mum passing away. So um, there's a picky of your mum there, Rachel. Uh, Rachel's mum, Maury, was actually one of my uh, subscribers, and she actually uh, loved me bikes. Like I say, uh, boring. She really did like my bike, so I'll give her a mention. Really is steep. I don't know if you can see in my mirror. You can see, you can't really see it's vibrating too much. Max starting to lift here. Yeah, I was going to go up to um, uh, Keswick in the Keswick direction today, but we'll leave, we'll leave that one for another day.
but um, I want to get back to watch the TT. We've got the uh, TT Live Pass and uh, it's really good. It cost us uh, I don't know, 20 quid or something like that. Uh, but the coverage has been really, really good. Uh, with it being an internet internet based uh, thing, uh, it does it does uh, cut out for you know every now and then. But on the whole, it's not bad at all. And then the uh, the racing. I don't know if any of you are into it, but the racing has been absolutely amazing. I mean, the weather the weather has obviously helped. So there's a record being broken right, left and centre. I hope this wind isn't um, spoiling the video. It's blowing a bloody early. Uh, yeah, we won't be stopping at Jubilee Tower. Uh, and as you see, obviously, I forgot to mention we're on Clementine, the little classic 350. Oh, one thing I will say uh, regarding Uncle Stu, uh, Stu's idea and whatever is um, it's all about us being the worm that turned, and he's uh, suggesting having some green green stickers uh, symbolising a worm that's turning. So put them on your, on your car bumpers or on the back of your motorbike pannier somewhere just to indicate we're in solidarity fed up of being bullied Look at these views trying to avoid potholes that takes you down to the barn at Scorton. Oh, there's a bloody milk tanker over there, I don't know if you can see it. Don't really want to be catching him up, do we? There's sheep on road. Obviously with the nice weather we've got lots of people putting out videos. And they're really good. The only trouble is, um, I, you know, I, I actually like watching videos um, and I like to leave a comment uh, so that other YouTubers can see that I am watching theirs and hopefully they'll watch mine in return. Uh, but there's so many coming out, it's just oh, it's really hard to get through them all. And obviously with the weather being nice we want to get out on our bikes and then there's editing our own videos and that isn't there. I'll probably uh, I'll probably make this like a two-parter. Uh, I know I'm cheating a bit, aren't I, doing a, a there and back, but in places like this the livestock on road. Um, in places like this the view going that direction is totally different than the view coming in this direction. So so as long as the same road you're getting a different perspective aren't you?
Uh, what else have we done since we last last saw you, spoke to you? Um, oh, we went down to Nantwich. It was that same uh, the same occasion when I test road uh, Pete's Z900. God, it's bumpy. Um, yeah, and we attempted. Uh, we just had a, decided to have a bit of a trial putting up of the uh, awning. Well, what a bloody palaver that was. Uh, first of all, don't come with instructions. Uh, like a lot of companies, they've gone paper free. But even a simple instruction on how the valves of the stirrup type pump would have been rather handy. Because there's like three separate components that go onto the onto the pump. Uh, and um, you have to get them in the right order. Uh, otherwise, as I found out, it makes operating the stirrup pump almost night, well, night on impossible. Anyway, sorted that out in the end after a lot of cursing and lobbing it up the garden, as you would. Um, and then when we'd uh, put it up, yeah, it looked all right. A uh, little bit of a dilemma about a, uh, a fixing of the ground sheet at the front, um, but I can, I can sort that. Anyway, so then we come to put it away. Oh yeah. Now, Anne and I, honest, honestly, we tried 12 times uh, before we just gave up. Um, now we'd watched the instructional video uh, several times before we actually bought the Kayam Borning and then several times after buying it and then again before we decided to put it up. So we had a pretty good idea of how we should be dismantling it. Could we get it in the bag? Could be elders like. Uh, after the twelfth time of trying, now nah, I, I did email Kayam and they said that um, it should easily fit with room to spare. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Um, so anyway, uh, I've left it with Kayam that will when we when we go out to, into the field and use it in anger so to speak if if we still can't get the bloody thing in the bag then uh, they'll pick it up uh, and see what's wrong uh, oh we could we could buy a bigger bag by the way uh, at 75 quid Yeah, so that was it. Oh, yeah, what we did, we left it for that night and then the following day we had another go um, when we weren't quite so knackered. And we did actually get it sort of in the bag, uh, but it, but there's no bloody way the zip would go. Zip, zip, zip up. So I well, strapped it round with some like. Uh, Thread, thread through ratchet type straps, hold it together. I don't know why they don't just give you bags that, you know, it's all right when they're compressed from the factory. And it's not as though we're new to this kind of thing, we've been doing it for years. And I had loads of different awnings.
a nice little bit there, see it? Every time we go to Nantwich we uh, to visit family and we help out mum and, mum and dad with things. Uh, they normally have a bit of a list of things they want me, want me to do when we get down there. I bought my dad. And they watch my videos as well. Very pretty, isn't it, here? A bit photo here, maybe? No. Might do it on the way back. Oh, I don't know. It's a rather nice rhododendron plant here. Just uh, take a photo here. Right, take a photo and I'll get back to you in a bit. Bye for now. Lovely. Uh, the chap come up on his bike and asked me if I wanted to have my photo on the uh, taken on the bike. So uh, I'm all right. Nice, uh, nice building that. Yeah, it was good of him. say uh, one point uh, well a while back I was going to meet up with uh, Z Charlie sorry Mr Charlie God there's wind um, uh, we will meet up at, at some point uh, but say this was a bit of a last minute decision at the petrol station God it's windy Camera there again. Um, it's a bit of a pain in the bum when it comes to editing, to be honest. Uh, but I thought, yeah, it gives you a bit of a different perspective. I think most people seem to like it. Nice little bit of a gnarly road. Gnarly road, this. to Dunsop Bridge before but on the uh, interceptor and I seem to remember that trip being rather busy obviously uh, places like this trap walkers and what they like don't they so you've got to really pick your moment to visit them uh, 
and down the other side. Yeah, first time out in uh, that we're using the awning is in uh, August. This wind is really strong. Uh, I've also not the um, volume on the on the camera uh, I was still finding I was getting quite a bit of distortion at higher speeds uh, and um, when it was quite windy so uh, I've not got down to the camera setting down to minus six so hopefully it's all right and I'm not ended up having to have wasted all this video Isn't this lovely? Nice little stream. Uh, the, the, all the other videos are watching uh, Solo Moto UK, Derek uh, taking the the Bot Road SV650 off road. It just goes to prove that the little SV650 is very versatile. One of my subscribers, by the way, mentioned about trying to give a bit of history in places that I pass. Well, unfortunately, I don't really, I don't really know anything about them. Uh, not being local to the area and whatever. Uh, I think, I've, as I've mentioned before, if I can, if there's some form of notice board, the information board, then uh, I will take a photo of that. Uh, Mr. Tail, the old year motorcyclist. Been knocking a few out again. Looking proper dapper on the distinguished gentleman's ride. Oh, and uh, Bruce, Coast Rider Scotland. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, when he did the uh, his Scottish trip. NC500. That was really good, over three videos. Very interesting. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, it's a rough old road, this. Ironically, you brace yourself for the cattle grid, and that's the smoothest part of the ride. Dunstock Bridge, and I think when you come to the end of it here, we turn left, and then we'll park up there for a bit. I bet, because of the road service, uh, when I'm talking, I bet I sound like that. Was it named Norman Collier? Remember him, the comedian? When he was talking, I bet I sound like that. That's why sometimes you'll hear me repeating uh, certain words. Because yeah, as I've said them, I've got, gone over a bloody bump. But yeah, that's not very good uh, road markings. Right. State of this road here. <laughs> oh, God, truth. That's it. Back up here. Right. Oh. Let's have a look. Puddle Duck Tea Rooms Duchy of Lancaster, Dunsop Bridge Post Office You got the river there Very nice Very quiet Right, so I'll take a photo and then we'll get back to you in a bit Bye for now. Right, so I'll uh, I'll end this uh, video here now. Uh, this part one, and say part two, we'll be going back uh, the same way as we came. Uh, and this is Dunsop Bridge. Uh, I did uh, take a video of some ducks going past, duck, uh, ducklings. So, pretty bloody beautiful, isn't it? Right, so, thanks for joining me on this ride. Um, please leave a like, uh, comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Bye now. The beautiful Dunsop Bridge. Mm -hmm.